Welcome to this guide designed to assist in learning the basics of ORCAD capture software. In this introduction, you will learn the basics of setting up your schematic designs. To create our project, we first need to save it and create it. We do this by clicking on the file menu and selecting new project. We name it what we wish to call it and make sure analog or mixed A to D is selected. Then we select our file location we wish to save it as and click OK. Now in this box we need to create a blank project. Now we are ready to start making our circuits. Another thing that's useful with this tool is to you can create multiple pages for multiple designs. To do this, you right click on the schematic one folder and just write new page, name the page what you want, click OK, and you'll see it come up as a separate window as well. Now we will go over the basic functions for designing our schematic diagrams. First is the place part command. We will find this by going to the place menu bar and then clicking on part. There is also another way of doing it by selecting the second button, button on the right in the right hand toolbar. Now for example if we wish to select a 7400 chip we just type in 7400 make sure that it's selected and then click OK now you left click to place the part and you can place as many as you like and to place any more parts you just go through the same process now to place wires what you can do is either on the third button on the right or again place menu place wire you click your starting point for the wire and click your end point now to exit this command you hit the escape key the way this is set is so that the grid snaps to the wire this way you can draw right angles very easily Next is placing a node name or a net alias to the node or wire that you want. You can do this by going to the place and net alias menu, type in the name you wish to call it, and left click to place on that wire. Another neat tool with this design is that you can right click on the menu and select zoom in to see which way you're going or you can select the part then right click and rotate the part to whichever place you need you can see the properties of that part this concludes the introduction the following chapters in both analog and digital listings will go over some of the basics of both of those forms of circuits for you.